Morning guys, it is day five, which is also the last day on the Cumbria Way. Uh, stayed at Coniston Hall Farm campsite last night. And um, it's a huge sort of uh, mega site. Um, more like a mini festival. No noise after 11. Nope, lots of noise after 11. No campfires. Lots of campfires. Everyone's having a campfire. Uh, so it was a bit of a party last night. Not a lot of sleep. Still on the trail for half eight. Uh, is this where do I go here? Signpost up there. I think I'm carrying along the lake for a bit. Um, so yeah, walking along the side of Coniston at the moment, which is beautiful. It's a nice warm hazy morning and 15 to do today into Alverston where my car is waiting for me and then sadly home and back to work but it's going to be a great day If you can hear that, there's a little speedboat uh, going down Coniston. Let's see if we can get a quick picture of it. Just walking along the uh, Banks of Coniston still, and it's an absolutely calm, still morning. Must have been like the kind of morning of uh, Donald Campbell's attempt to do 300 miles an hour in Bluebird um, on that ill fated day where it all went tragically wrong. Just hearing those little ribs. Um, Get you thinking about what a massive sort of powerful jet boat trying to do 300 miles an hour down here would sound and look like. I bet it'd be awe inspiring. Turned in land now and climbing, so saying goodbye to the lake. Going up over that in a minute.
the uh, landscape's completely changed over here, over Bloweth Fell. It's really sort of bleak and desolate. But again, it has a rugged beauty or quality to it. see the sea. That's somewhere direction maybe Alverston or possibly over those hills. Let's come down the side of Tottle Bank Heights behind me somewhere. Um, and I think this is the point where we really start to lose elevation. There might be a few little ups from now on. Um, but so I think this is the start of the descent into Alverston. Just check the map, about eight miles to go. And it's quarter past 11. It's gonna be a mixture of uh, farmland and road now on the way down. So I might get the earphones in and have a bit of music on. Big ass longhorn cow or bull in my way. Hmm, what do I do now? Come this way, dude. Go on, fella. Keep walking. Go on, move along, bud. Just walking down the road. down someone's property again. I was definitely wrong back there when I said oh I think we're on the way downhill. Still plenty of elevation gain and loss to do. Almost made it over this hill down into Alverston and we're done.
If you're starting in Ulverston, enjoy the beautiful signage which lasts about five minutes. So there it is in the middle of the picture, that's the way marker for the start and end of the Cumbria Way. It's done, five days down, there's a fantastic walk um, and you can park here for the week for £30. So quick reflection, um, it's amazing how different you can feel after finishing different trails. This is my third trail for the year. Um, after finishing the section of the South West Coast Path, I was um, quite upset actually with that one. I was um, a little bit tearful at finishing that. Just on Hadrian's Wall as well. Um, that was a long, quick sort of march, so my initial feelings after that one was relief and exhaustion. Um, but I think after finishing the Cumbria Way, I'm feeling quite content. It's felt like a proper walking holiday. I've seen some great sights in the highlights of the Lake District. It's been a beautiful walk and would highly recommend it.